Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Destiny Sphere Program. Now, I did do quite a bit of work on the new setup. However, some faults had happened with the recording and I pretty much lost the entire episode. So we're going to do a fast flash of what we did in the last episode that should have come out and hasn't to where we're up to. So I cleaned up all of this and expanded our, yeah, all of our stuff, all of it. We got steel smelting, iron, we got the magnets, we got copper, we got stone, we've got we look at that. We've got graphite. Fabulous. I also placed in some supply for oil into here. Providing us with extra power. And some stone to get rid of all of that there. We're now getting our red science going. So if you look down here. Red science is going all the way down here. Look at this. All that down there. A lot of this has all been cleared up. Still a lot to clear up yet, but as you can see here, yeah, we've got the area quite well and truly cleared. So, I did a look doing that. Let's have a quick gander, shall we? Oh, we're still struggling with power, so we need to resolve that power issue. But let's have a look at what we did. So, it kind of looked a lot like this to begin with. Recognize most of it from where we left off. You can see there are a lot still left out. All of our old stuff was still here. So all of that was removed. We then expanded up to the top here. Got all of this area here done. And with a little bit of a editing magic, it looks something like this. There you had it. We got all of our oil in and our extra power. The next thing that was left to do was to introduce our red science into here. And clear up all of this area here and have some issues with our robot as you can see it's still struggling with power there we go so then we removed all of this here put in the own red science and that gave us to where we just were a second ago so without further ado let's get on with today's episode let's crack on with that's the sphere program and welcome back and as you can see our red science has appeared magically Ta -da! and we are still struggling with power so Without further ado, let's get some of our power issues resolved before we even begin with today's episode. So we can start looking at what we want to do. Because we've got some science going. All of the science going here. However, with what we lost from last episode, I want to kind of catch up with some ideas that we're going to do today. So let's get our power supply done. Here we go. Right, there we go. So... Our mech is going to get some improvements, which is kind of what I wanted. However, now that we're kind of set on this area here, I want to start thinking about really breaking into our automation. So I want to clear all of this area here, leave this area here for our smelting. And we need to start looking at mass production. It's that time. We've still got a lot of area to clear up. And I'm still cautious that we have that. However, we're going to start getting some of this here. There we go. There's lots of crap still in our inventory, which we need to get rid of. But we can do that by way of actually kind of... Well, basically what we'll do is we'll have a little collection point. Like move speed has increased. There's a ley line there. Let's... Uh, be honest we don't need to take all of this off what i want to do I'm, I'm just putting some of it in for now what i want to look at is where our central point is actually going to be where is, where is it actually going to be where's the center of this damn thing where are we okay so it's going to be further up because it's going to be about here somewhere so let's have a look around that area there See if we can find our central ley line. Hey. I'm thinking this here might be it. Let's have a look on our map. It's gonna be about there somewhere. Got a ley line point here. Right, I'm guessing this this here. Our central line. It looks like our central line. It looks good. I think it's slightly too low. Is it 
Too low? No, no, we're good. We're good. I'm calling this our central point. Probably not, and I'll probably screw it up, and we'll probably have to work it all out later. But let's go ahead and. For now, mark our central mark. Okay. That's either too far away or we don't have any more. Yeah, we don't have any more resources. That's fine. Okay. We do have more resources, we just haven't used them yet. I haven't picked them up yet. Either. Right, so. First things first, let's grab one of these. So, we want to start looking at actual buildings. So, rather than items, we want buildings. So, we're going to do everything. I want a production for everything, but where it improves. So, where you need one goes to another. We're going to have power supplies going in as well. But the first one we need to look at is Tesla Towers and then our wireless power transmission. Uh, now, we, we can't really do the wireless power transmission. I already have one in because we can't do the plasma excitus yet or without fiddly stuff what we can do is we can do the basic test of towers so and what we're going to do is, is we're going to have we don't really need too much for basic tesla towers so what i'm going to do is we're going to set up a small production for it so we're going to have our lines coming in so we're going to have our material down so all of our iron is going down the central column then need so i was doing it this way so this is the way we were doing it previously and then all of our production lines going down like so then if we want to produce i'm going to do on this line here so we've got some room to maneuver so of that because we don't need that anymore right let's have a thing i want some space so i'm going to do it over here okay so this is all we need here let's connect this up here so we're going to need magnetic coils actually we're going to need some components building first. so let's actually build magnetic coils first don't have them ready. actually yeah that's probably a good idea if we start doing these first we might actually be able to do it a bit better so let's let's set up magnetic coils okay so i don't think we need any more uh actually i'm just going to separate them up slightly so we can do Have them all nice and neat, shall we? Okay. There we go. So we're going to need copper and we're going to need magnets. What we're going to do is we're going to do magnets and copper. So we need a copper line. Then a magnet line. Might be a little bit too far away, actually. That one back a little bit. Back a little bit. Copper. Magnet. Yep. That needs to lift up one layer. Still too close. I'll test things before we try them. Why is that just done something different to what I just told it to do? I'm in a bit of a brain fart. Right. There. Lift one level. Still not allowing me to lift two levels, three levels. Nope. My core energy is depleting. So. Oh. 
bubble working. Uh, material. Oh well, never mind. Uh, it's going to be a case of. How far back? I think we're going to need but a gap between each one. I think that's what the problem is. Let's have a look at that. So let's... Still do our copper line there. there. Do that. That. Is that gone? Yep. A bit of a delay when I drop the key. Okay, so now, now we can continue doing what we were doing. There we go. into there that goes into there Let's continue on like nothing ever happened Better. then we have on extend that line just one more there we go our robots are still a little bit slow at the moment because See, we're still waiting on upgrades at the moment. Then we need a new line. Come around here. And to begin anew. Tesla lines. So one on each. Ourselves magnets. I don't know whether this this kind of system is going to work. This is we, we've attempted this once before, but I never really got the chance to fulfill it because there was just so much to do. Um, we now have that chance. Entire story. Oh well, never mind. I'm sure, it'll get burnt up. Okay, so we're gonna need. Well, to be fair, I remember the lines, right? But now we're gonna need to do this because, fortunately, we've still got crap in the way. Lack of item. Oh, we definitely need. Oh, we've got, we've got bell production. What are we talking about? Well, we had bell production. Actually, I don't think we've got any left. We do not. So we are actually going to have to build some belts in our inventory. Yeah, at least that clears up some of the belts. Okay. So obviously the problem we're going to have is when. Oh, what am I doing here? Ooh, no, 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 no. Oh. Very silly. So the problem we're going to have is we're not going to have our stone or our graphite with us at the moment. But we will figure out the line to put stone and graphite on later. It's the wrong way. I'm really not working today. There we go. Require a third line there. Drop it down there. So obviously, we're going to need to connect these up. Before we do anything, let's just remove these end ones here because this is going to go. Problem solved. Right. So. 
yourself. Now, those two are already connected. Now, I'm not sure if I'm going to adjust this later, which I probably will do. So, what I might do is I might have it where the raw material goes in, but to be fair, magnets are used in quite a lot, so I might keep the magnet on for now. Okay, right. Iron on the go. Connections here. We'll get a couple of extra robots soon. Communication control, two extra construction drones. Which makes this a hell of a lot quicker. Then our steel. Which we do definitely do not have enough belts for. Some more. I don't know if that's going to be enough, but we'll give it a go. Okay, so our steel at the moment's being used. So what we need to do is we need to make a slight adjustment here. Add this into here. There we go. So we don't actually need the steel at the moment, but uh, we may as well get it all set, ready to go. Now control more construction drones. That means as you can already tell. You can already hear it. Complete collecting the iron. We need to proliferate stuff at a later stage as well. That's another thing we need to do. There we go. Right. It's going to burn all of our power, as you can see. There we go. All that's left to do now is add them to the belt. That's going to annoy me. There we go. Get over here and hope oh, we have another charging point here as well. We're going to get another vertical stack going, and then we get vein utilization, which means it does speed up the mining, but you also get more from it. It's pretty cool. There we go. And steel is now on our belt. Or it will be when I connect this end up here. There we go. Steel done. Okay, so five resources are good to go. The only thing we need to do is replace this tower here with one of these towers. And it's all connected up and ready to go. Okay. Stopping our oil level up. So, before we do anything else, let's have a look. So we're going to start needing this yellow science here, which is our structure matrix. Uh, but there are certain things we can still do with just blue and red. We get plus one construction drone tasks. Each construction drone can perform more construction tasks at one time. So they can do uh, so I think they drop two down rather than the one. So we'll add that on because that's important. We've got mass construction as well, which is important. Energy circuits, we can unlock more power. Um, plus two meters a second construction drone flight speed. And we get our drive engine, which is very important to us. Uh, all that stuff's important, but again, not too worried. So that's a lot of upgrades for our actual. A lot of upgrades. Yeah. Logistics station integrated logistics. Nice. Uh, so we need to start looking at our technologies as well. We've got titanium smelting, photon frequency. This is our main quest here. 
Ethereum fractionation. There's nothing much we can do until our ro well our robot here is upgraded, so he does a little bit better. Just so he's a little bit quicker at building stuff, because it does take us some time to do. Um, but the next thing I want to do now is, first of all, I want to go and get some more ground material because we're in the ocean here. Let's go ahead and grab some more. It's still pumping away nicely. And now control, uh, carry more of that because we've emptied half of our stuff. So our oil stopped up. So we don't lose power on our way back. Okay. Let's go, let's clear up some area here. More oil. Right, so what I want to do is I want to create conveyor belts, which is going to take gears. Iron and gears. Now, I'm going to make the gears. I should really do this as well, but I'm going to keep a spare set just in case. But all we're going to do is we're going to basically go uh, production. So my end production, which is going to line up here. So we're going to have that there, that there. So we're going to have only iron coming in uh, to about here. I'm going to go, right, we want to split off our iron, run there and there. I believe I can get a line through that. Yes, I can. I planned it right. Excellent. Uh, what I didn't plan was enough material. And we'll just grab some iron and get this little stop for us once I get this going. Go perfect. We need some power supply. Can we replace that really in the middle there? Again, we need to carry it over as well. Do need our Tesla towers, like I mentioned earlier. A lot of things. Um, like some of them in. There we go. Perfect. We'll now replace this line here. New Tesla line when I get it. There we go. Tesla line connected. Then going to set up another one here. We're also going to set up a wireless one here just so I can connect my resource. Uh, so I connect my mic up. Okay, so. Again, we run the lines in. And then our current lines go over the top of them, so we don't need to worry about that. Perfect. Okay, so need is our gears here then we're gonna need our quarters got one belt short that's annoying Shorter. sort of goes directly into that there and then how many is there? I think it's two Two iron and one gear to make one belt. That is just it's one iron. One iron, one, one gear. So what we need to do, so that takes quite that's twice as fast as that, because that's a longer piece, so we don't need to do anything in terms of setting up additional belts. Uh, or sort um yeah, sorters. That's pretty much set. So then we're going to go here. And we're going to run a line down here. Here. We're then going to run off storage. I have some. There we go. So we're always going to have a backup storage of materials. There we go.
We're then going to drop that down to two. We then need to connect some power up. Pop the power just there. There we go. I put that the wrong way, didn't I? No, I haven't even put one on the other side. Now, what we'll more than likely do later is we will adjust this so that it will take... As a matter of fact, we're going to adjust it now. So that's just going to feed up one of us. So, we'll take that there. We'll remove that there. No, we won't, because that's going to not feed anything. There we go. That there. That's going to feed them two into this, and then what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to drop this one and the belt. So what this will do at a later stage when we're in our later production is basically it won't produce any more of this if this is full. Because later down the line, we're going to have this collect stuff for us and feed into our system. So when we start upgrading... It'll take it out of our inventory. But thinking of automation along the lines. Okay. I think everything else is set. So we've now got our belts. We can't build our next layer of belts. So the next thing we need to look at is sorters. Sorters take electronics and, and um, iron. For electronics... I am tempted to get rid of the magnetic coils. So electronics is two iron and one copper. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to do sorters this side. So we're going to run on our copper line about there. I'm going to grab some more belts. So, we can run our iron already out because we've already got the iron line and I don't know where I'm going to put, put them just yet. We'll figure it out. But what we need to do is figure out our copper. Um, that should be enough to go up. Again, yeah, excellent. Go back down again. Now, I could choose to in fact, I'm going to need to because I'll go from there to there. That. That. There. Like so. This over to here. So. There we go. Easy done. Go. So, what we need to look at is to be honest, I think I've put that a little too far out. So, we'll just remove these for now. More crap in my uh, storage containers. Just put some more fuel in. Tank. You bring you over to here. Using my oil. Or at least it's helping me power up. Right, so next thing is my sorters. So, what did we say it was? So we'll try and run it somewhat similar to what we've got over there. First of all, we want sorters on this side. Electronics. Yeah. I could just copy and paste. So, for the electronic, we need two... Two... Two iron, one copper. Perfectly, the iron is actually closer to our... Inventory. I've got that on a really long line. I've just noticed that. Oh well. That's gonna bother me too much. Okay. Then we're gonna need to run our copper. Well, plus one layer storage vertical and two layer lab vertical. Excellent. 
electronics go over to back end. No, iron goes in. That takes one iron on one of them. So, yeah, we're going to be waiting around for this, but it's not a problem. Next thing we need to do is look at power. We're going to need some more power here. So, let's connect our Tesla power up. So, what I need to do is I'll probably do that there. Then that there. There. I should reach everything. So we'll do a reverse layout here. Across here and then across to here. Cut the connection point here. Don't we need to go sit? Perfect. Storage goes in there. So then we have these popping onto there, into there, and out there. Again, we reduce that. However, we can now upgrade these. So we now need two sorters and one of the new um, elect the electric motor. So I'm still thinking. Strongly thinking about that. Construction line. What do we need? Gears. Gears and iron. Can't build any more of these. We can only build three more. We need gears. Slowly working our way through all of the crap in our inventory. Okay. Make another couple. Yeah. Alright, so this is going to have to be gears. Gears. So we're going to have one, two, three. So I don't know if these are reach. Nope, too far. Okay, that's our problem. First of all, we need to put our gear in. This to go about here. You run into there and then run across to here. Hey, I'm not I'm I'm not hundred percent sold yet on having them on the belt, but that's made this a little bit easier. Okay. Then what else is it? Iron. Yeah, we need another iron line. Uh, so we actually want to go one further than this. Put the sample in place. The only thing that's going to be a problem is, is I'm going to have to go up on this one this time because it's not going to go. Not going to go so we're going to go 
try and go Opalaya, Opalaya, and down a layer. Too far, too far. Down a layer. There we go. Final line there. Here, to make it look good. So to here. Let's get some power lines going. Might be a little bit messy, but we'll get it. We'll get it. We're going. It's working. Okay, so the last thing we need to do is get our production for our new ruler. This. These ones here. Auto mark twos. So. Now come in with this line here and go to here. Line here to here. Perfect. And then we just need power up. I forgot to put my gears in. Go. Perfect. Then if I remember how to do this again, these out here. Lines out. Uh, storage. And then reduce this down to two. Sort all that crap out. We've now got. Right, this, this needs improving. Already, we can I can already see a problem. That's the beauty about this is that I can should be able to um, see if we can create blueprint. I haven't actually done this. A little bit closer. See how that works. So now, don't know if that works. Oh, well, we got most of it. Oh, where's our little charging platform? We haven't got anything charging our kind of well. I mean, it, it it's half worked. 
It's actually missing loads of crap on it. Well, I mean, we can figure the rest out later. Oh, we haven't got any more assembly machines. I forgot we ran out of assembly machines, didn't we? Black material. They're all shown as disconnected. Does that mean they are going to be disconnected? Permanent layer, or is it? Is it because these aren't there? I don't know. Let's see. We made a blueprint, though. It's kind of cool. Another one of our milestones done. See if they start producing. We'll have to have a kind of. A, I don't use blueprints normally, so we do need to start using them though because it makes things a little bit easier um, when we're mass producing things. Certainly later down the line as well, when we can just literally drop a. Ah, oh, yes, excellent. Look at that. Everything just starts. You're getting everything. You you're not doing it you're not providing that why is that let's just uh have a there we go yeah, double connected I did If that was a mistake or if it was on purpose, but it works, so oh, you need Oh wait, no, that's why. I'm an idiot. That's supposed to be connected to that. So it was missing the end one. There we go, that's why. There we go. And now we've got a backlog. Could probably take that last one off, but I don't want to. Materials surviving fine. Iron's not doing too bad. Getting a good production here. Yeah, I think we're. I think we're, we're looking good. So now what I can do is, is I can drop these into here. I can't because I'm trying to click on the wrong bloody thing. I can drop them in there, like so. Go over here and start collecting the new ones. We've got new conveyors, uh, new sorters. And I think, I think this is a good start to our mass production. And the good thing is, is our iron is really coping really well. When we start improving our belts, that's just going to keep stocked up nicely, hopefully. So yeah, I'm really happy with our first layout. We got our sorters sorting down here. Obviously, we need to get our third layer of sorters. Now, the one thing I don't want to do is I don't want to just rack this like really tightly done. Um, I want a nice little even system that we can get to, and you know we can see what's going on, um, and we can improve at a later stage. Obviously, we're going to need an improvement for our belts. Uh, the only downside is is there is oil here. So what I might actually do is, is I might actually hide that oil vein. There we go. Um, if we need oil, we can find it at a later stage. I'm not really too worried. Um, I believe it will still show up if I do. Uh, that is the star map. That's not what I wanted. It's the power grid. Yeah, it does. So it still pops up there, so we can still see it being there. Uh, so the only other thing now, really, is to bring up the rest of the crap. Um, I don't even think we needed any of that well that kind of helps but i don't think we needed these but we've got them anyway now so let's bring it all up to here now there we go 
that marks the end of this episode, I think. We've got belts and sorters done. We need to start looking at power supply as well. Uh, because obviously that was a struggle for us. Having to keep doing things. We also need something that builds assemblers for us. Uh, so next episode, what we're going to do is we're going to have assemblers, assembly machines done. Because we're always going to need assembly machines. So again, we're going to have to look at them, which is a lot of material. Um, I want power supply... And I think the first four are then done. Um, then we don't need to start thinking about things like this. Solar panels, wind turbines, um, storage materials, which is obviously when I need my uh, stone to come up. Uh, we need our splitters as well. And all this kind of stuff. These ones here we're not too worried about, but I will probably automate them all anyway. Uh, my main concern are the first layers here and then some of the power here. That's going to help us along the way. So that's going to be next episode. Um, things looking great. Um, I'm definitely happy with what we've got so far. Uh, so the next question is, is how far do we take what we've already got in terms of mass production? Um, and then once we've got the answer to that, we can then start looking at expanding it to our other planets. Yep. Everything is now on a grid. So yeah, the next question we need to start thinking about is is what we do with our other planets. There we go. Let me know in the comment section what you're thinking, if you've got any suggestions, ideas, or anything like that, or if you just want you know, if you've got any questions over what it is we're gonna be planning on doing in the future. Or if you've got any critiques, feel free to critique. Um if this is my way of doing things, this is certainly not the most um, utilized way. I just, I like laying my stuff out this way. Uh, certainly got a lot of tweaks and stuff like that. So if you've got ideas about that, then let me know because we might be able to introduce that in. But until next time, everybody, take care for now. And I shall see you all on the next one. Bye-bye for now.